Tara Verb, to vomit, specifically due to drinking an excess amount of Hawaiian punch base alcohol in preparation for a rousing game of laser tag. Hey Danny, I think I may have overdone it on the apple teenies. Can you direct me to your bathroom so that I may Tara in and around it? Tara Dalla was the daughter of Donna and Peter Dalla. She was born presumably here in Canberra. She was raised on a farm in the middle of nowhere where her parents farmed things like potatoes and other important vegetables. But little did Peter and Donna know that their lives were about to change forever. Yeah, I saw that on the news. Man, when I saw that, I was like, oh, hey, what are you doing? You know you shouldn't be there, but what can I say? I was disappointed. A public scandal hit the Dallas, resulting in public humiliation and shaming. In a bid to regain power, Peter took up leading a Gestapo collections gun and moved around in an entourage, while Donna was left to predict the happenings of the future. But she missed one very important happening indeed. In June of the early 90s sometime, Tara Lee Dalla was born. She made friends quite easily. Hi Tara. Do you want to say that all those times that we were real friends, um... <laughs> I don't want to do it! I grew up in a large household of many Dalla children, surrounded by fantasy characters and mythical creatures. This set her up for an extravagant lifestyle as a green dress model, a purple haired model, and a red haired model. But due to an unfortunate Pepsi incident in the early 19 somethings, she was left with a burned and scarred face and became the most fiercest of all yoga instructors. But she wanted more. She became a musician of sorts. She continued to try music up until the early 2000s, which inevitably led to her alcoholism. <laughs> but when I think of Tara Lee Dowler, I remember someone of strength. Someone social. Someone well adjusted. And someone so sexy she doesn't even realize it. <laughs> 